I thank heavens. Thank heavens. It's another hot show from Studio A of Community Television in Santa Cruz, California, live, out of here, into your eyes and ears. It's fun, fun, fun. Uh, what else? I have to open up and say hello to Owen and Eloise. They are my grandkids, little guys. And I guess I have to open with the joke that... Uh, you and your mom told me before we before I left uh, to come down here, so I'll share it with the rest of the world. Why do ducks have feathers? To cover their little bum quacks. <laughs> and that's probably going to be the best joke I've got tonight. So <laughs> anyway, anyway. A lot of court stuff in the news, listen to court stuff, so got to have a little bit of a court joke, I guess, to start off. Fellow is being tried for stealing a car. Judge says to him, why did you steal the car? And the defendant says, well, I had to get to work. Judge quizzically says, well, why didn't you take the bus? Defendant says, I don't have a driver's license for a bus. Good. Hey, do you ever take things a little too literally? I do sometimes. I once had a boss tell me upon my arrival at work to have a good day. And I thought about it. And I went to the racetrack. Great day. Great day. <laughs> You know that tingly little feeling you get when you fall in love with someone? That's your common sense leaving your body. Which reminds me that relationships are a lot like graphs. You think about it. Have you ever looked at your ex and wondered why? Okay, no math, no, no math majors in, no math majors in the audience. <laughs> Last week, my wife accused me of being immature. I got back at her. I told her to get out of my fort. <laughs> Done that. So this morning, my wife asked me to pass her her lipsticks, but I accidentally passed her a glue stick. Well, she still hasn't talked to me. Oh. Hey, what do you call a guy with a rubber toe? Well, if he's Hispanic, you might be Roberto. <laughs> Guys going to bars. Feel a little too much to drink. There was one the other day. Guys there, and one of them, a barroom bet that this drunk couldn't eat a clock. Well... He did it, but it was a very time-consuming process. So, hey, I see in the local news, popular Italian chef is no longer with us. Uh, he passed away. <laughs> I like math. I mention that a lot. It was my claim to fame as being reasonably good at it. And I feel sorry for parallel lines. They have so much in common. It's a shame. They'll never meet. Hey, where do you find a cow with no legs? It's probably right where you left it. <laughs> hey, read a little study, discovered how crazy people find their way through the forest? Very simple. They just take the psychopath. induce a little, little scripture for you. And the Lord said unto John, Come forth, and you will receive eternal life. Unfortunately, John came in fifth. He only got a toaster. 
Oh, oh this, this might, might go, go back, back to uh, Owen and Eloise. What did the shy traffic lights say to the car? Don't look, I'm about to change. Two hats sitting on a hat rack, which chatting along. One hat said to the other, hey, you stay here, I'm going on ahead. A recent study found women wearing bikinis are revealing 90% of their body. Now, I don't know about you other guys, but I try to be polite and I only stare, about, stare at the parts that are covered. <laughs> I always wonder what the job application is like at Hooters. Do they just give the applicant a bra and say, here, fill this out. The rate I'm going, I'm up to an A cup, I might be able to you know, get in there. <laughs> anyway, I think that's enough folly raw. We need some music that really works. So, Southern Baptists have come in to bless us with their music. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm out of here. Thank you guys for having us on the show. Thank you, Richard. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptists. Hello, Santa Cruz. Say hi to all of our friends in Santa Cruz. All of our friends over at KSCO, that 50 watt, 50,000 watt uh, flamethrower over there. Hi, Dave Michaels and Billy Army and Billy Sunshine and all the Billies. Everybody's named Billy over at KSCO. All right. My name is Kenny Thomas. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. We're going to play some music for you. I was laughing. I'm sorry. I enjoyed the comedy stylings of Richard Dussel tonight. Okay. Here we go.
We are Kenny Thomas in the Southern Baptist. That one was called the New Atomic. What's that, John? What do you want to tell me? Stage directions. What's going on? Hi. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, I didn't even know you were in the band. Where'd you come from? Dang, that's a, they just keep showing up. We're like the white earth went in the fire. They just keep showing up. How did you get here? I took Highway 17. All right, we are Kenny Thomas and Southern Baptist. We're very grateful to be here at this beautiful television station in the most wonderful city in the whole entire United States. This is my favorite town in the world. I like hanging out over there. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a song. Uh, huge, big, huge smash everywhere, except.
<laughs> they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Not really. You got like listener base. They're like 150,000 a night. Come on, man. Santa Cruz market. Market number 48. Nielsen. This song is a new one, it's called Earwigs, and uh, hopefully it goes as planned. Keep on made that one up right here on the spot. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. We play a lot over here in the Santa Cruz area. We just played Sam Bar a while back. I do a regular co-host thing over at KSCO Radio with uh, the legendary Dave Michaels and Flight 1080 over there. I'm kind of a regular kind of drop in and do a co-hosting thing. And uh, we play a lot over here. We're all we played over here. Oh, mess of places. We played at the Palladium. 
Bocce style. The arena. No, we didn't play at Bocce style. Did we play at Bocce style? We did. Oh, I got confused. I thought they that had was an amazing Caesar salad. I thought that it was unbelievable. <laughs> the Caesar salad, really. I mean, you're right. It was pretty good. You know, I would have forgot about that if it wasn't for that Caesar salad. <laughs> it just came back to me. Like, oh, that's right. I was. I was. It was incredible. And they're not stingy with that dressing. Let me tell you, folks. No, they're not really. I mean, <laughs> you think you're joking, but it's real. We are musicians, but our Comedy Central show is starting up this fall, so. Okay, well, we, anyway, we are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. We're very honored to be here. Thanks to Richard. Thanks to the whole crew. You guys are all wonderful. Everybody here is so nice. Why is everybody here at this station so nice, but everybody at Cron 4 sucks? Why is that? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love everybody. Stanley Roberts, I love Stan. Welcome in, Bad television <laughs> joke. We're going to keep the rock rolling right now on this three for Thursday on a Get Your Let Out Friday uh, right now. So this one is called Birds.
coming from the tree will fuel the oil of industry. And the ones that wander on the street will be the ones that question me. You saw the light out on the field, said to the girl, do what you feel. Living it up, taking everything and squandering if you live Living it up, taking everything and squandering but if you live The day the birds all disappeared, the thing that caused the sky to clear. To expand it, then every relay they disappeared to compensate. The blood that's coming from the tree will fuel the oil of industry. And the ones who wander around the street will be the ones that question. It up, taking everything and squandering, manipulating. Living it up, taking everything and squandering, manipulating. The day the birds all disappeared, the thing that caused the sky to clear. That was called the X-Ray Project and uh, Birds. We kind of put them together because, you know, that's what we do when we're trying to kill time. Uh, my name is Kenny Thomas. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. Right here is a gentleman named Mike Stone on guitar right here. Also, right here is a very nice young man, nice fella, nice young fella, right here named John Rye on bass. Also, the multi-talented Mr. Peter Skilge. As remember, might remember him from the Tonight Show band uh, years ago. And also right here, Daniel Langevin, psychic. Uh, famous psychic, Daniel Langevin. And money launderer back here, Jim Underwood, back here. <laughs> famous, famous criminal mobster, Jim Underwood, back here. Uh, they let him out for one night. That's just to do the show tonight. What do they call? Uh, they call that fur. Do they, do, they, do they call that furlough? Is that what that's called? I don't know. Anyway, Jim Underwood and Jim uh, records a lot of stuff on his own too. And these guys are also in a band called Enemy. 
also. A very popular band from the San Jose area, NME. And there you go. All right, good job. And that's us. And this one's called The Big Unknown. Thank you. It's like, a, it's like the audience for Kimmel. It's huge. We're happy to be here at uh, the television station. We love Channel 27 and Channel 73. We love all the channels. Which channel don't we love? Is there a channel? Don't? What's MTV? I can't stand MTV. 
Whatever channel MTV is on, and we're not watching it. But uh, other than that, everybody's great. Uh, Fox Network. Home Garden Television. Stuck watching that last week, actually. That was uh, pretty boring, I think. All right. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. Our, al our new album is available uh, everywhere at uh, whatever record store you can find in your neighborhood if there's one left, or you can order it online. The name of the album is Waiting for the Shockwave, and it's on Quake Records, and it's available everywhere. Amazon, record stores, uh, read for it all, iTunes, iTunes, all that stuff, wherever. If you just Google, if you just Google, can yeah, Google Play, we're on all that stuff. If you just Google us, you'll find us everywhere. CD Baby, CD Adult. All those CD places, they all got them. Anyway, it's available right now for the low price of uh, $499 a CD. So if you want one, uh, grab them while they're hot. Let me tell you, because they're going to not reprint them. The crew's just trying to hold the laughs back. I this song is called Stick, and we hope you guys like it.
At least we showed up, all right. Better than no band, right? Live television, that's a good idea. Glad we didn't bring Stolowitz with us. Oh boy. The F words it up on the television. That dog was very bad. Which is the opposite of good, because if he was good, he wouldn't be so bad. I'm sorry, you guys, this is what we do before we see. We haven't seen each other in like three months, so we're all excited. This one is called Attacked by Spiders. i 
Thank you, guys. Thank you. Right, we got one, one more, more song. song. We're going to try to stretch it out a little bit because we're, or Rich is going to come over and hang out with us after the after this song. So, all right, we are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist again. Thank you guys for having us here. It's beautiful Santa Cruz, California, our favorite city in the world. We love this place so much. Everybody that lives here is just so wonderful. And uh, thank you again. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. This song is called Nine, and I'd like to actually personally dedicate this to a friend of mine that died the day before yesterday. Just suddenly she passed away, my friend Christy Marie Clark. And she was really sweet. She really loved this song. And so I'm going to dedicate. We don't usually do that, but I'm going to dedicate this on her because she was my good friend. And she was really sweet. Way too young. Passed away way too young. All right. Thank you very much. The song is called Nine. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. Thanks for having us, everybody. Build you up. Haven't got the time to tear you down. Haven't got the time lift to build you up. Haven't got the time to tear you down. Got the time to feel your love. Haven't got the time to make you cry. Haven't got the time left to build you up. Haven't got the time to tear you down.
Thank you, guys. We are Kenny Thomas and the Southern Baptist. Thanks, everybody here at CTV. Thank, Thank you, Richard, Richard, for having us. All right. All right. So, uh, all you folks uh, in Santa Cruz here at home watching the show tonight, would you open your door, your window, and on a count of three, just get a scream. We love the Southern Baptists. Oh, thank you. Get out. And we we're not love. One, two, well, three. <laughs> we love the Southern Baptists. Well, we're not loony Southern Baptists. We're just, we're not even Southern Baptists. We're actually all a, a bunch of annoying yeah. uh, Yiddish folks. Well. Kenny, Kenny, please, wait a second. Soft pedal that because I got a, got a call from Donald back, you know, where, uh, and he tunes in my show frequently. <laughs> And when he, he saw, saw Southern, Southern Baptist, he said he definitely was going to see that because he knows they're going to be good, all white, you know, good old boys. And so he's behind you. Uh, something, okay. something to take his mind off that Manafort thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Off, yeah. Hey, um, I'm always kind of, in a way, happy when I have a little time left over from the bands and I can come out here and get my kisser out in front of the camera again because I'm a big ham. But then I always think, God, I could have gone for another song, you know, or whatever, because everybody that comes in uh, is so great. And uh, we, you know, we are so lucky. And from my standpoint, you guys are exceptionally lucky because you can play music. I have a hard time just playing a CD. I mean, I can put that in the wrong way. So, uh, so I, you know, I, I, I kind of envy people. It's just got to be... One of those things is really satisfying. But we all have different things, you know. So. I have a dog that plays the keyboard. Let me tell you, he's the pianist thing I've ever seen. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I like that. I, I have like two uh, bloodhounds at home, too. Well, a couple of days back, they got into my marijuana stash. Oh, no. And now they're paranoid and think that people are following them. So uh -huh. <laughs> I can I understand, understand that. Uh, nobody's behind me now. Well, we got to play live again. We are we are in Hollister, uh, August twenty fifth, at some biker bar or something. I'm I'm certain it will be fun. I'm It'll just kidding. Hollister people. Hollister, yeah, yeah. 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 We're hey. playing, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so so I do I do have a question. I, one of the things I wonder about you, you just put together a CD that it's out. Okay, how much time in the studio does it take to put together a CD? Oh, it could take quite a while to do something like that. The, this, the latest album of ours is actually two what are called EPs put together that we released at different times in the last two years. Oh, okay. The record label uh, kind of approached us and said we want a full-length album. I said, well, can we combine the last two EPs together as one? Well, yeah. And that's what they did for redistribution. And it could take quite a while, depending on how much... If you want the album to sound fantastic, it'll, you can spend a lot of time on it. But the, great, the late, great Lou Rawls once said... And I always remember this. He said, if you want to get that on tape, get it while it's hot. Some kids go into the studio, and they're in there for three weeks. By the time you come out, it's not what you want. Sometimes you, you want it when it's hot. Overdo it. I'll, yeah, sometimes yeah, I'll write a song and go, I need you guys up here now. You know, and so they'll right. put their parts in. You know, Peter comes up with the drums in Jim, and everybody puts their parts into the song, and then I mix it and engineer it and put it all together. Uh -huh. It could take a while yeah. sometimes. Do you do the mixing? I do all the engineering and all the recording. Okay. Yeah, but we're at my good, studio. Good, good. Well, I'll mention for, to you and to other bands out there, we, with the equipment we now have, the audio board, um, we record uh, each track, each, each, each uh, line that's going out, okay? And I'll get you a copy of that so you can, you know. So it, it's not quite studio because you got the spillover. Oh, that's, oh, yeah, well, but, you know, we play live so much. Things happen live that yeah, you can't do. But, it's, but, but for, for, for somebody who wants to tweak the, you know, the music, not, oh, don't sure. take the tweak. It's fun button. to do, though. Yeah. Yeah. And the live <laughs> stuff's fun to record, too. Live's really fun to record. You can oh, yeah. Really fun right. Really so cool. anyway, so, uh, yeah, we are fortunate to have this uh, uh, studio here. Very and, beautiful. And, uh, and thank you again. Yeah. We're so grateful that you guys had us down here. So, we are so honored to be here. Thank you. And thanks go out to people of Santa Cruz, everybody that supports it. Um, and thanks go out to the talent that comes in. And, and you have, have some, some great, great talent that comes on the show. So they yeah, do a great show a while back. You guys had Dead Conduit in Dead here. Conduit. They're a great band. Really, really like great them. band. I really like yeah, them. you guys have some great talent. In this town, there is some wonderful talent. And what's even neater about this town is that the people in this city appreciate the talent that's here. Yeah. They come to see bands. They come to see comedians. This is such a wonderful region, and God bless all of you. Thank right. you all so much. Well, you walk down the mall in, in the summertime Pacific, 
you know, and there are people playing there. That, oh, yeah. Oh, there's I people playing music everywhere in the streets. It's you know, so you wonder, fantastic. well, wait a second. Why aren't they on these, you know, music, I'm a musician show or whatever. I never watch those because I don't believe. Yeah, neither do I either. Them. I don't watch much. But them. some of the people that they have on when I've been at somebody's house that are watching, I think, well, you know, so-so. I mean, hey, you know, but there are some. Remover on my dog. Uh oh, no. That's a problem. <laughs> Well, I think we're right, I think right. we're off the air again. Off the air. Thanks for sh- thanks for watching. <laughs>